my name is James Howard. I'm the Managing Director and Founder of Yorkshire Payments here in Brig House, Yorkshire. Specifically, the move has been a real big challenge for us. And we love challenges here at YP anyway. But it's been a big project moving and relocating from 900 square feet to just under 6,000, organising different themes for different rooms. It's been a challenge, but quite exciting. So we are going to be having a training centre of excellence that we're going to be housing in the new head office and also for the first time uh, a showroom to really showcase our products and our offering to the outside world and, and that will hopefully be live within the next few weeks. I've got involved with um, a local football team, Brighouse Town uh, Football Club, as I have taken over as, as chair um, back on the 1st of June. I've already probably done about six months work in about five weeks. So that's keeping me quite busy as well. I tend to have three three jobs actually, running the football club, running running Yorkshire Payments and also uh, managing uh, new and existing customers. But I, I, I do relish that. But the football is, is a real uh, passion of mine. Um, I do love watching it. I love grassroots football right up to uh, the Women's World Cup that's just been previously been on to um, some of the major tournaments um, with the professional clubs. So, you know, I was at the Bradford Liverpool game on Sunday. I was at um, the Brighouse Town and Wakefield game last night. So I tend to go to a lot of football matches. It is my passion. You know, I'm not just a football fan, but actually, you know, running the football club as a business um, with the the operational side of things and the commercial side of things is is not just about picking a team. That's not my job. Ultimately, um, it's about doing the right thing for the club and, and running and treating it as a business. So we've had an incredible quarter uh, with new business coming on board. And, you know, Yorkshire Payments is always about existing businesses. What a lot of our uh, comp competitors are all about new business all the time. Ours is a completely different strategy. We're all service driven to manage existing customers and existing merchants. They are our lifeblood and bread and butter of what we do existing customers i'm sorry but without a solid existing customer base we have no business yes we do have an open door policy for new businesses to to for us to work with um, we're quite excited about um, the new relationship with peg perego um, so peg perego are a international toy manufacturer um, out of milan in italy of, of all the glamorous places in the world so we've just started managing their international card processing for them which we're quite excited about so that's absolutely fantastic they've signed a multi-year deal with us i'm also pleased to announce as well um off the back of the peg perego not just about international co customers here that we work with in yorkshire but a lot of the local business as well a lot of the regional businesses in yorkshire um, we've just started supporting um, the local hospice which is overgate uh, hospice um, very very um, well renowned without throughout Calderdale actually they've got two two stores uh, quite quite local to us just outside our, our building here um, those guys run a, an incredible uh, service to their patients um, and we're, we're privileged and, and honored to support their retail network as well as their their, um, their funding that they rely on for from their supporters for card processing. So those are two ones that kind of stand out for me, but we support some fantastic businesses week on week, month on month. We've had inquiries this week from local authorities, from multinational retailers, um, large UK chains, right down to, to, to local small businesses as well. So it's exciting times here at YP, but two for me that stand out this week, uh, 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 Peg Perego and the Overgate Hospice. Yeah. Um, so we have been running the Employee of the Month for just under a year now. When we did our big uh, rebrand launch last year, we decided to introduce um, Employee of the Month. So it was very American here. Now, maybe we should have probably used, or we might, I don't know, we might reword it. But um, for me, it's to highlight and champion somebody who's gone over and above their day to day. And, you know, we all turn up to work um, and we all do what we can and we get through the day but it's to really highlight somebody who goes above and beyond they get in before they need to they they leave after they need to um if they need to do something during their own time they they will do that and this month we we decided as a business to highlight uh, danielle uh, sheard who works in our teleappointing team danielle has been with the business for about nine months she's formed some fantastic relationships with the relationship managers on the field um and she has formed some fantastic relationships with uh, new and existing businesses uh, this month. And for me, um, that 
needed to be recognised and highlighted. I'm really impressed with the work that she's done and she hasn't just wanted to hit the numbers, she wanted to excel above and beyond that and uh, you know that's the reason why we chose Danielle. And there's also a mention for a uh, for our new um, technical engineer, um, Steve, um, Stephen, who's joined the business, who comes with uh, an extensive networking engineering background, who uh, will be helping out a lot of our customers um, throughout Yorkshire with any problems um, as we move into this new part of our journey now as Yorkshire Payments. We are offering same day service to businesses, um, unlike the typical next day or three days time service. We're offering same day hardware replacements in a lot of cases now. So, um, you know, adding more resource into that particular team was was, was vital for us to, to, to deliver on those messages. What I'll be working on, um, finishing this project really for this move, um, it, it, as I mentioned earlier, it, it's, it's been challenging. Uh, we've got a launch date of Friday the 20th of September. Uh, so it's making sure that all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted uh, in regards to that particular benchmark. Um, so we're working on that, um, continuing the tendering process that we're doing at the minute for various new 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 new, new potential accounts, um, and just looking at ways that we can improve our service and offering. And that's something that I do take home with me all the time. I do think about how we can improve what we're doing as a business, um, new products, new technology. We are um, looking at new features uh, all the time for our online offering as well as our third sector uh, charity offering as well. Um, so it, it, it's really to try and, and um, continue to explore new new offerings. Um, you know, and, and at Yorkshire Payments, we, we don't like standing still. I think it's quite boring um, standing still. Um, and waiting for something to happen. We try and make something happen. We're always engaging with, with new suppliers and new partners and, and, and new clients all the time, as well as existing suppliers, existing clients. But it's looking at ways of how we can always improve our customer care and our offering. Um, that, that's really important to us, really, because it, without that, we, we, we remain flat and we, we, don't, we don't evolve. And you know, we're a young business and that's something that we need to do.